So we're just going to run you through a couple of things that we did on this shot here. This is um, one of the biggest shots that we had on Transformers 2. And uh, it features Devastator, our main character. Big truck that comes being sucked in, uh, comes in, hits all the blades that is in his mouth, explodes, and then gets chucked out the back. Lots of debris, lots of dust, uh, just dirty it up. And um, yeah, Devastator is one of the biggest characters to uh, go through ILM. And this was a very big shot to work on. So we're just going to run through um, a couple of uh, placing the elements and uh, checking out the script. So just over to my nuke script here, I have uh, Devastator over our background. Now one of the first things I wanted to do, I wanted to um, get the explosion in the mouth of the shot, into the mouth of Devastator as the truck hits. So I've looked through uh, our element library we have at ILM and I found this nice explosion here. So I want to go into 3D land. And uh, there we see our world that we're working in. We see our camera here, along with these uh, lines. And um, I can see Devastator. And with Devastator loaded in Nuke, I can place elements exactly where I want them. So I found that explosion. I'm going to get a card. And as you can see, I move it out. There's my explosion on the card. Just hit F to frame it. And I'm going to put that explosion right in his mouth. So just spinning around, making sure it's in his mouth. He's got his head slightly tilted towards camera right here. So the mesh is pretty heavy, so it gets a little hard to see, but that's what we've got to work with. And this is a proxy res, um, small res um, of Dev Devastator, uh, any bigger than this, and it's not, not very useful for us to use. So by putting this explosion here in his mouth, we're able to put it through the camera. And uh, that's the position that we get. Uh, his mouth is about here, and here's my explosion. And as I put this over our comp that we have, you see the explosions lined up perfectly uh, with his mouth. And if we were to move the camera further along in scene, uh, this explosion will track perfectly in his mouth. So with a bit of cutting it out by the depth channel, we were able to put that explosion right in his mouth give it a bit of interactive lighting, a bit of a glow. And this is the explosion right in his mouth, right as the truck goes through. And with that explosion, I now uh, want to put a couple of sparks as the metal flies around uh, his mouth as the truck gets eaten up. So I've got an explosion here, uh, sorry, a spark that I found along the element. And just the same thing again. And then just place that element where it fits into the scene. So we get right into his mouth there. So as we put that element over top of Devastator's comp, you can see our little spark element hit there. Just hide the previous explosion. And uh, there's our spark. So a few more of those that went into the actual comp, uh, the final comp. Um, and it just gave a couple of sparks every five, 10 frames, pop, 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 pop. It was, um, worked really nicely. So here we have another spark element. Um, just put that one straight over. There's the spark element. And a few more of those held into his mouth by the depth channel. So also along with the fire and explosions in this shot, um, this dusty environment, he's pretty big, so he's going to cause a lot of dust. And he's just transformed from uh, his land character into his animating character. Uh, he's actually a five trucks that come together to make Devastator. So there's a lot of sand and um, dirt flying around that's previously there from other shots. So we need to find some sand, uh, some smoke. So I've got some smoke that are from, again, from the element library. And this time we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to want this um, smoke element to track around with the camera so it's permanently facing the camera. Let's close up a couple. So here's our scene and with this card. I can now go ahead. Uh, that's a rest position for Devastator right there. But we can, we know where he is. Get rid of the rest of his body. So there's Devastator right there. So I can position this underneath his body. Get a lot of dust and smoke underneath his body. And now when I come to, uh, I'm just going to turn Devastator off here. Just to show you so it's quick. 
So we got the camera, and just with um, plugging this camera into the look control of the Transform Geo, we're able to keep that card perpendicular to the camera. So as the camera spins around Devastator, this card's always going to be facing towards the camera. So it's quite handy, so you don't get the edge of the card peel around. And uh, it works quite well when you're adding dust and smoke, especially. It may not work quite as well for explosions, but for this situation, uh, the, the spinning around looking at camera was perfect. So as you can see, I've got a couple of cards in here. Explosion for his mouth, dust under his body. Now I'm going to go to another frame here. Just to show you another part. So we see that card spin around. Uh, that element now turns off from his mouth because the truck's no longer in his mouth. And uh, I'm looking for an element for when the truck uh, is eaten up and it spits out the back. So if we have a look at Devastator here, we can see at the back here, there's a big hole right here. That's where we want a big uh, mushroom cloud explosion, uh, fireworks spitting out the back. To go in, we're getting some dust rendered from our particle department, and uh, we're just going to get some explosions and sparks that come flying out of there. So again, oh, down here, explosion. So. I've got this element, um, which is a nice uh, explosive element, and that uh, fits in perfectly with this shot. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. Load in the card. And I can line it up perfectly with that hole that's in the back, right where the, the, all the exhaust dust and the uh, debris is flying out after it gets eaten. And if I move this card all the way out here, and then even though it might look right on this frame, as the camera spins around, it's not going to track in uh, with Devastator. So we want this card to be lined up right where, right where we want it to happen. And that loading in the 3D in the Nuke is just working perfectly for this situation. It's just exactly what we want it for. So in 3D space, I've lined up my mushroom cloud explosion um, perfectly. Um, we see our camera there recording our card. It's a little bit off angle. So I could just twist it a little bit. Anyway. So I want this explosion to be really nice, but we're going to mix it in with our CG dust um, that's getting rendered. So as we come down, we look over, we render it through our scanline renderer and our, new, and our camera. And then we just view this in 2D. In 2D. And we can see the position of our element there, um, lined up perfectly, um, right, the hole's right there, but we now need to get that in. So I grab the Z-pass, the depth pass, cut the depth out, so bringing Devastator back over the top, and we can see that that explosion's coming right out of that hole there. So I'll take the flames off, and we can see... Pretty cool. Grab our CG renders, we got our CG renders right here. Put our CG dust over the top. And then just to bring it back um, so it's not really thick dust, we get a little bit of interactivity, uh, a little bit of uh, flame coming through. And right here, I could uh, add a little bit of flicker to it, um, haze it up and glow it up, and just uh, make it look really flaming and really nice. And then uh, we'll go back to another frame. And I've preset a lot of cards here. These are just a, a fraction of how many cards were actually in this shot, but it's just to show you that we use lots and lots of lots of dust. All these are little dust elements placed uh, around Devastator. And this comp is currently running at 4K IMAX, so it's uh, pretty going pretty well, and it's pretty nice to uh, use Nuke for this uh, job. It's pretty impressive, the speed, actually. So just as that loads, you can see I've got a lot of dirt here. A um, couple of cards that are preset. I've got to fix up a couple of edges of my elements, but uh, keeping that behind, say, Devastator's uh, front leg there, putting it under his body or putting it completely behind Devastator, we just do that multiple, multiple times, and it starts to build up that effect. So we go back to where we started, just have a look. There's our base plate. There's Devastator, and we go down, 
And we see we've got a lot of elements in there, just hazing it up, dusting it up, big explosions, our CG render out the back. And that's about how we put this comp together. And I can just show you really quickly a couple of pre-comps that have run out. So again, there's the background. There's Devastator. This is uh, CG dust that's getting sucked up. Uh, CG debris that's getting blown out the back for the truck. All cards there for the elements for the inside of his mouth. CG dust out the back. Some more interactive. And um, that's how we got to our final comp, which is looking just like that. With a big explosion out the back. So thank you for uh, having a look.